Hey everybody, Fishman here, and welcome to another video. Specifically, part two of you guys choosing how this filter is going to turn out. In part one, I was actually kind of surprised. I did the tally for the votes today, which is Sunday, and it is exactly dead even at 15 and 15 for inside the filter or outside the filter. So, I'll leave that aside for the moment. I'll go back and check it again in a few days. Uh, hopefully there will be a split uh, more to one side than the other. Uh, if not, I'll just pick. Or actually, this video may help out that way a little bit because there are some interesting options of whether or not to have the whole thing inside the aquarium as it is here or outside, which is today's question. If it's inside like this, uh, you can do a number of different things, which is kind of interesting. As I have the pump set up here, uh, I can just drill a hole in the side of the filter, uh, the box itself, and what we can do is uh, run a really large uh, deep bed under gravel filter. Uh, we can run some uh, immersed plants so they can be outside the aquarium. Uh, we can reverse this so the water is pumping into it so we can have a reverse flow under gravel filter. Uh, we can also do a suspension filter, like uh, like people keep asking me to make a K1 uh, filter, we can do that. Uh, we can do a liquefied sand filter, though I think the shape is a little off for that. Uh, probably better for something larger like the K1. But there are a lot of filter options. That all aside, uh, because uh, we'll have to figure out where it's going to go before I get into those details. Uh, the biggest thing about inside the aquarium is uh, there's absolutely zero chance of leaks. The downside, of course, is it takes up a fair amount of space in the tank, but that can be turned into a positive, so that's 50-50. I'm not sure which way you guys want to go on that, <laughs> seeing how the last one turned out to be exactly dead even. Uh, so all we'll do is uh, you guys can choose that now like which one you want and then what we'll do is like i said i'll revisit the other one later and we'll see how that goes so let's move on to the other option and that is of course to have the filter box on the outside of the aquarium obvious upside to this is it takes up next to no space really you only have the pump either on the inside of the tank here or inside the box we'll decide that one later uh and it does have uh more interesting aesthetics as far as not really taking up any kind of visual space in the aquarium. The slightly different aspect to it as far as filtration goes, it actually is a pretty good filter. I mean, the uh, hobs are great. I mean, you can put on uh, sponge blocks, you can put in uh, containers with various types of uh, filter media, either just uh, lava rock or you can use crushed coral for changing the pH. But of course, all that stuff can be done also with it inside the tank. Uh, you can also have a space for something like pothos or some other immersed plant to be in here as well. And uh, the good thing about this style is that because it's going to be gravity fed or pumped back in, you get a little bit more surface agitation if you want that. Uh, that's not necessarily something you want. Of course, you can get a lot of surface agitation with the other one as well. Uh, the main thing, the main difference between a filter box being inside and filter box being outside is how much of the tank space are you willing to give up. And that is probably the big uh, decision point. But then again, filter styles, I mean, there are way too many options, unfortunately, to go through here. Uh, in this particular video, because I want to wait until at least this decision's been made before we start going on to the other ones. Uh, but you can do all kinds of dif different things. The only thing you probably couldn't do with this is a suspension filter. Uh, you can't obviously do an underground filter, but you could put an awful lot of uh, gravel in this and have the water flow through that. I don't really recommend that style for outside the tank because uh, it is the kind of filter that... Um, if you end up having to do maintenance on because it will eventually have a restricted flow of some kind. And unfortunately, you gotta because it's outside, you could risk the uh, possibility of an overflow. Though I think you can uh, mitigate that by how you choose where the holes are going to be and everything. But anyway, all that's for another video. Uh, so today, please choose 
whether the filter box itself is going to be inside the aquarium or outside the aquarium. And hopefully it won't be a dead heat like whether the, fil the, the pump is going to be inside the filter or outside the filter. And then we can get this thing moving. Uh, for the next video, I hopefully will have a more definitive answer on uh, where the pump's going to go and where the filter's going to go. And then we'll give you some more options for that. So anyway, this is a short video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this style of video, please like and or subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. And bye for now.